Hello, Maria. Good evening. Hi, teacher. You hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Hi. <laughs> I, you... I am working. You're working? Yes. Wow. Until what time? ¿Cómo se dice inventario en inglés otra vez? Hoy tengo otro inventario en otra tienda. Inventario, it's... Mm, I don't remember. Let me conteo, look. Conteo, conteo de... Conteo de should be like, like counting, but... Let me look for inventory. Ah, inventory. Ok, escucho bien suave, pero creo que es demasiado ruido que hay en el lugar. Pero... Quiero ver si escucho, si le pongo más sonido. Creo, más o menos. So, it's inventory. Ah, ok. Mm -hmm. Entonces en eso estaré hoy, inventory. <laughs> Until ya les pedí a los compañeros, ya les pedí a mis compañeros que esperen un poquito en lo que recibo la clase para, porque vamos hasta el amanecer, porque es inventario de utilería, inventory de utility, ya saber cómo se dice utilería, <risa> pero eso, de utility. Ok. Eso tenemos y es hasta que comenzamos una parte y hasta que cerramos el restaurante, comenzamos ya, no, no tiene que estar en uso nada. Uh -huh. so, and that's Así like que the... vamos hasta el amanecer. And those are like the, I mean, you're inventorying like the things, like the equipment you have, el equipo que tienen, de eso es en inventario, del equipo. Sí, y utilería, o sea, plato, vaso, todo, de toda la utilería del restaurante. Wow. Así so it's a lot of work. Heavy, heavy, heavy. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so I wish you luck. Okay. <laughs> Hi, Oscar. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, everyone. How are you? Pretty good today. All right. How was work? Uh, let's see. So long. It was tired? Or... No, 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 not no, 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 not quite. No, no, tired. No, 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 de no, cansado. Sí, no. No, 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 completamente. Ah, ok. All right, that's good. Very good. Hi, Cynthia. Hi, Jorge. Hi, good evening. Good evening. How are you? Fine, fine. Good. Excellent. Hi, Cynthia. How are you? I think she can't hear us. Or maybe she has issues with her internet or connection. And did you already receive the the email from the no you haven't Not yet no nope. okay no 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 okay so they said that they will send it either today or tomorrow i think so mm -hmm. probably tomorrow mm -hmm. you will receive it mm -hmm. and this is our last class this is the you finished the curse you got it completed the curse so that's good that's good. Yeah, it is. And it's almost Friday, so that's good too. <laughs> Does you have any plans for, for the weekend or are you going to work weekend? Work weekend. <laughs> You're going to work on weekend? All right. Uh, Saturday. Just Saturday. Saturday, uh, half. Uh huh. Just a half. I'm every day. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, Maria. Every day. So you're gonna work uh, Saturday and Sunday. Um, I don't work Sunday. You just work the the Saturday the half of the day. But um, 
Ay, um, um, ¿Cómo se dice? Estar pendiente. I'm um, being like uh, looking into. Do the cell. <laughs> okay. Yes. You have to be checking your cell phone. Yes. Okay. Well, but well, this is your high season, right? The for this month. December is like uh, the the high season, or I mean, like for example, in January, is it low or how is it? Uh, this year, all the mouses. So every month have been like high season. That's, yes. <laughs> and when are you having play vacations? No vacations. No. <laughs> The hobby. Okay, well, that's sad. <laughs> only, only twenty-five. The and, first. and the first. And okay. The first. Those are the only two days. Esos son los únicos dos días. Wow. All right. So well, let's enjoy those those free days then. <laughs> All right, so, well, we're going to start. Thank you very much for being here. Uh, this is our 16th class, our last class for the Beginner One Curse. So congratulations, you made it, you did it. So great job. Um, I think that everybody completed the, the platform already. Ya todos completaron la plataforma, yes? All right. Yes. Very, great. And were you able to, to download the certificate? Yes? yes. All right. Yes. Very good. Okay, good. So what we're going to do is we're going to continue. We're going to start with an activity where we are going to practice the, the WH question for present continuous. Um, and then we're going to see how to say the time. That's going to be our last topic. And um, we're going to try to make most of this class uh, speaking. So, so you can practice and speak and speak and speak as much as you can, all right? So uh, this, is the, this is the first activity that we are going to start. So what you're going to do, it's this. Um, I'm gonna make you, I think in couples because we're just one, two, three, four, five. So I think we're gonna make uh, two groups, one couple and one group of three. So you're going to mention two names of your family members. You can say, for example, um, I don't know, Maria, my sister, uh, and Pedro or Peter, my brother, for example. And, and then uh, you're going to start asking questions with a WH question. So Think about that those people that you're going to um, you're going to talk about, and then once you're in groups, you're going to start making questions using WH questions, asking, for example, what are they doing? So, van a hacer preguntas, van a mencionar dos personas, dos familiares, y luego ustedes van a comenzar a hacerles preguntas a sus compañeros acerca de ese familiar utilizando las WH questions, como preguntando qué está haciendo. Eh, whatever question you want to make uh, on regards to uh, the family members, but it has to be in a present continuous. Okay. Entonces, eso es lo que vamos a hacer. I'm going to make you in a split two in groups. ¿Se entiende lo que vamos a hacer en la actividad? Yes? No? Yep. Okay. Kenny? No. No, ok. <ríe> so, eso es lo que van a hacer. Vamos a hacer grupos. Eh, luego hacer grupo va a mencionar eh, el nombre de dos de sus familiares. Entonces, el resto del equipo que esté en su grupo le va a comenzar a hacer preguntas eh, utilizando WH question o pueden ser también yes no question eh, relacionadas con la persona que usted mencionó. Y de ahí usted la responde. And that's it. Okay, so let me split the, group, the groups here. So we are one, two, three, four, five. 
So we're gonna make, I'm sorry, one, two, three, so we're six. So we're gonna make two groups of three, okay? All right, so join to the groups and start speaking. Cynthia se pudo unir a la, a las, al grupo. Hi, Daniela. Um, I think that you have issues with the Internet, I guess. Porque la escucho cortada. Internet. ¿Tienes problemas con el Internet? Sí. Ok. Ahorita ya la escuché bien. ¿Usted me escucha bien? Sí, sí. Okay. Sí, ahorita sí. Ok, good. Uh, so lo que vamos a hacer ahorita, la voy a unir a uno de los grupos. Eh, lo que están haciendo es que están mencionando el nombre de dos de sus familiares eh, y luego el resto del equipo le va, a le va a hacer preguntas utilizando el present continuous, ya sea con WH questions o con yes no questions. Y usted la responde. Ah, ok. Mm -hmm. Perfecto. So let me join you to the groups. I have two brothers. Okay, can you say the name? One is Ney Omar, y the other is Mario. Okay, Omar and Mario, good. All right, so Maria and Daniela uh, make a question to Alexander about uh, his two brothers. Mm. What? What? Mm. What? Mm. Uh, ah, what, what years? No. Oh. no, no, it's how old? Ah, perdón. Oh. No. 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 How old? Is how old? He, oh, el nombre de alguno de los dos. Ay, no recuerdo el nombre. Mario Perdón Enomar. que casi no. ¿Ah? Mario. Mario. Vaya, who old Mario? Uh -huh. eh, he is 40, 41 years old. Okay, very good. Okay. Now, can you make him a question? I mean, in, in present continuous? about one of his brothers? Pueden hacer una pregunta en present continuous acerca de sus hermanos? 
médico recomendado a tres personas confiadas y recibieron atención médica. Además, Juan, cuestión es... What are you doing? No, what is he yeah, doing, you... verdad? Ajá. Daniela, can you make the question to Alexander? Why, why are they eating junk food? Okay, vamos a cambiar We are you. Joy. Joy. What? So what is what is the question? What is he doing? It no is eating joy. Okay, what is he doing? Is is your brother working? Okay, very good. Yes, my brother is working. Okay, so one one more person who can say the name of the of their family members, and then the other makes the questions. Okay, I'm gonna check in the other group. landing. I don't know, do you say? Es que en inglés se dice otro tipo de escenario. El tipo cuando son, eh, ya se habla como de bienes raíces, cosas así. Está en yes. ese grupo. Yes. Yes. So, ahora toca. What, what are you asking? Oh, de ese tipo de tipo, where is he working? Her, okay. her husband. Oh, okay. Her answer, her answer was uh, notificadora. Uh, he is working in notificadora. Oh, viene raíces. Uh -huh. So, I mean, viene raíces is real estate. Yes. Real estate. Ese es viene raíces. Real, real, like real. Real. State. Real. State. Ajá, uh -huh, real estate. Real estate. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, and the ne and the second name is Liliana. Okay, Liliana. Um, who is she? She is my uncle, tia. Uh, ain't. 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 Mm -hmm. ain't. She is mm, my ain't. Okay. Um, where in is living, she? Um, in living in she? Sansonate. Too. She lives. Okay. She lives in Sansonate. Mm -hmm. Too. Near of you or um and uh was this a misma casa yeah the same house of the same house no it's my vecina neighbor neighbor is my is my oh. neighbor na neighbor she neighbor. is she is my neighbor she is she is my neighbor mm -hmm. She lives near. Near. Where are you going to visit him? Her. <laughs> when, are, <laughs> when are you going? I make it up. So you visit her every day? Uh, yes, yes. Okay. I visit okay. her. I visit her every day. 
every day mm -hmm. in the night <laughs> at night <laughs> at, at night. night it mustn't at night. it mustn't be uh, so you bore <laughs> so you go to visit her uh so to, to talk about with her or do you do something special just gossip <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I mean, do, do you do something with her, hacing algo, or just to talk? No, sorry, the connection is in a stop, in a stable. In a stable? No, listen. Okay, so my question was, uh, what do you do with her? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think she, yeah, I think she lost connection. Hi, Kenny. Oh, no. Back. Hey, hello. <laughs> Insert in two coins. <laughs> sorry, sorry. No worries. No worries. I was asking you, sorry. what do you do when you go to visit your 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 aunt? Do you go talk mm -hmm. to her or do you watch a movie or what do you do? Um, We are... Cooking. Uh, okay, we cook. We cook uh, with uh, watching series. Okay, so you watch sitcoms. Uh, it's, it's very friendly. Okay, very good. It's cool, it's cool. All right, excellent, great. All right, very good. So we're gonna go back to the main room so we can continue with the topic, all right? Okay. So let's go back. Okay, we're still missing for Alexander, Daniela, and Maria. Lo que veo que todo el mundo, teacher, como ya dice que terminó la plataforma, ni se aparecieron aquí. ¿okay? Yeah, they took the day off. <laughs> no, no, no. Día libre, dijeron ahora. <laughs> Yeah, we, I mean, we, the group is around like 14, 14 people. Son como 14 en total de ustedes, ¿verdad? En el grupo. Algo así. Sí. And now we are just one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> All right, but don't worry. We're going to learn the last thing today. So uh, let's go now and see the, we're going to check the time. So before I, I start there, do you know how to say the time? Do you know how you can tell the time and how can you ask about the time? Do you know? How do you ask the time? What time is it? Exactly, what time is it? And how do you answer? For example, it's 9 um, 24. Exactly. Very good. So, what we are going to see now is that, like in Spanish, uh, there are different ways to say uh, the time. For example, uh, right now we can say, eh, What time is it? ¿Qué hora es? Son las 9 y 24. Eh, pero digamos que fueran las, las 9 y 30. ¿De qué otra forma lo decimos en inglés? Perdón, en español. En vez de decir 9.30, ¿qué otra Sorry. forma? Media. Media. Sorry. 9 y media. Las 9 y media. Exactly. So, the same thing uh -huh. we're going to learn in English. Uh, for example, we say sometimes, uh, uh, ¿qué hora es? A ah, las, un cuarto a las siete. So, we say a different way to say in that case, 6.45. 
So that's what we are going to learn right now, how we can say or how the phrases that we can use in order to uh, say the time. And at the end, we're going to make a little role play with a conversation. Vamos a aprender unas nuevas como eh, phrases, way to say things in order for we can create a conversation together and that you can feel uh, that you're making the conversation. Okay. So let me show you the other presentation here. Mm, all right. So this is it. All right, so this is the, what time is it? That's the question that we make and that we know in order to ask the time. If we want to know the time, we ask what time is it? And that's it. Then I'm gonna show you the different forms that we have in order to say the time. For example, we have the first one. Um, in this way, we are saying, we're gonna show you the two, two ways that we can use. And this one, we are saying an exact hour. Estamos diciendo una hora exact. So when we say an exact time, we are going to say a clock. A clock means exactamente esa hora es. So in this case, it's saying it's six o'clock. So a clock podría traducirse como en punto. So it's six o'clock, seis en punto. Is there an other way to say it? Yes, it could be, for example, you can say um, it's six. It sounds a little weird, but it's valid. Eh, suena un poco extraño, pero es eh, válido. So, so again, say, what time is it? Oh, it's six. You can, and then you can say maybe to, to add it and see if it's in the morning or in the afternoon. You can say, oh, it's 6 a.m or it's 6 p.m. Cualquiera de dos, esas dos formas estaría bien. Pero para decirlo de una forma bastante formal, sería it's 6 o'clock. Then we have this form. Han pasado cinco minutos. So we can say it, it's five past six or the exact time. It's 6.05. En esto es similar, ¿se recuerdan cuando vimos los números telefónicos? Eh, that we, we say zero. Instead of say zero, we say O. Oh. So lo mismo sucede acá. Eh, no vamos a decir it's 605, sino que vamos a decir it's 605. O 5 oh, past 6. 5 minutos o 5 pasado de las 6. All right. Next, we're in the middle now. So it says it's half past six or it's 6.30. It's half past six, it means seis y media. All right, it's six y media. And then we can say as well, it's 6.30. So let's say strength. Then, on this one, we go like the other example we made in Spanish. Eh, faltan tanto para tal hora. So this is the way we say it in English. It's 25 to 7. Faltan 25 minutos o son 25 para las 7. It's 25 to 7. Or we can say it exactly. It's 6.35. All right. Then the other way, it's quarter to seven. Un cuarto a las siete. It's quarter to seven or it's 6.45. And then we have it's five to seven or it's 6.55. And finally, we get again to the same exact time. It's seven o'clock. Algo bien importante aquí es, eh, si ustedes se fijaron, una vez comienza las, está 6 o'clock, y luego comienza el tiempo a avanzar, toda la primera media hora, siempre van a utilizar past. Eh, por ejemplo, digamos que fueran las, las 6 y 10. 
tendríamos que decir it's six. I'm sorry, it's ten past six. Si son las y quince, podríamos decir it's six past fifteen. Eh, las y veinticinco, it's twenty-five past six. Una vez pasa de la mitad de la hora hacia adelante, ya comienza a ser two. Porque ya estamos diciendo que falta tanto tiempo para la siguiente hora. Y el primer ejemplo que vimos fue que eran las 6.35 It's 25 to 7. Ok. So, eh, that's the way that you're going to use. Eh, siempre recuerden, la primera mitad van a ser eh, past y la segunda mitad va a ser to. Expressions that we're going to use, a quarter, un cuarto para, eh, a half, that it's in the middle, o la hora exacta. And, uh, I'm sorry, the half is uh, media hora. And o'clock is the exact time. All right? Questions so far con las, las expresiones para decir el tiempo? Any no. Question? No? Entiendo, que, entiendo que cuando son las 12, por lo menos en la... <clears throat> al mediodía, Cambia, no es o'clock. I mean... Exactly. Eh, tanto 12 a.m. como 12 p.m. They have a different name. Y ahorita lo vamos a, a ver. Okay. Is this two? So if it's 12 p.m., it's noon. Mediodía. If it's 12 a.m., it's midnight. Medianoche. All right. So whenever it's 12 p.m., you can say, oh, it's noon. Ah, el mediodía. That means la 12 p.m. Or you can say it's 12 o'clock. Or it's 12 p.m. That's correct as well. And as well with, uh, with 12 a.m., it's midnight. I don't know if someone here likes uh, like metal or rock music, but there is a, a, a song called Two Minutes to Midnight. Uh, from Iron Maiden. So if you like rock, that's a good song. Two minutes to midnight. Uh, so that's how you say the time with uh, English expressions. So for example, right now, what time is it? What time is it? It's nine. Uh-huh. It's it's nine. Thirty. Okay, it's nine thirty-three. Very good. Yeah. Another way to say it. Yeah. It's twenty-seven to ten. Excellent. Yeah. Yes, that's correct. It's twenty-seven to ten. Uh, That's correct. Good. Excellent. Great job. So do you have questions so far with that? Any questions? No? All right. So this is a conversation that we are going to uh, do. We're going to practice it first. And then vamos a ir viendo como desglosando parte de, de frases que aún no hemos estudiado, pero que we are going to learn today. So at the end, you can make a conversation like this with your partner, utilizando las frases que vamos a aprender. All right. So, eh, we're going to make, uh, I want to make a volunteer with one of you, and then I will need get one of you to practice it. So, let's see, uh, Jorge, can you do it with me? You're going to be letter A, I'll be B. Okay. Hi, Chris. Um, what, what time is it? Um, it's 11 and a half. Oh, it's 11.30. I'm getting hungry. Me too. Let's go eat. Um, do you know a good place to eat? Yes. The good burger is just down to the street. Down to the street. Uh, do they have Mexican food? Um, yes, I think they do. Okay, let's go. Now let's change. Hi, Jorge. What time is it? 
it's um, 11 half, half. I'm getting hungry. Me too, let's go eat. Um, do you know of a good place to eat? Um, yes, the good burger is just down the street. Do they have Mexican food? Uh, yes, I think they do. Okay, let's go. Great, excellent. Thank you, Jorge. Okay, Oscar and Kenny. Okay. What time is it, Kenny? It's 11 half. Mm -hmm. I am very hungry. Me too, let's go eat. Do you know of good place to eat? Yes, the good burger is just down the street. Do you have Mexican food? Do they? Do they? Do you? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I have. <laughs> Say it again. Do they? Do, do they have Mexican food? Yes, I think they do. Let's go. Very good. Now change. What time is it? It's 11 half. I'm getting hungry. Me too. Let's go eat. Do you know of a good place to eat? Yes. The good burger is just down the street. Good. Do they have a Mexican food? Yes, I think they do. Okay, let's go. Very good. Excellent. And one more. Do we have two volunteers? Just one. Yes. <laughs> no, two. Anybody? No? Okay. So Alexander and Relson. What time is it? Relson, you there? Yes, sorry. Estoy buscando la, la conversación. Ah, ya encontré. Okay. It is 11.30. I'm getting hungry. Me too. Let's go eat. Uh, do you know if... Uh, of, do you know uh, of a good place to eat? Yes, the good burger is just down the street. Down the street. Down the street. Do they have... See, down, the street, uh, down, this, like, down the street. Mm -hmm. Do they have Mexican food? Yes, I think they do. Let's go. Very good. Now change. What time is it? It's it's night. Thursday. I I am getting hungry. I am get I'm getting hungry. I'm getting hungry. 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 Uh -huh. uh, me, me too. Let's go eat. Do you know uh, do you know uh, of a good place to eat? Yes, the good good burger burger is just down the street. Do they have Mexican food? Yes, Ooh. I think they do. Let's go. Very good. Excellent. Great. Thanks. Good. So uh, this is the conversation that we are going to practice. Uh, we're going to see some uh, vocabularies and phrases. For example, the first thing uh, with this, let's go. With the let's go and you see and you saw that uh, we, you saw that the, the last expression said, let's go. Let's go eat. I'm sorry, in this part. Let's go eat. So we can change that for either one of this expression as well. Let's go eat. Let's go get a drink. Let's go to bed. Let's go play. Let's go sit down. All right? Okay. Uh, basically, let's go. It's vamos. Vamos. Vamos a comer. Vamos uh, to get a drink. A, a tomar una bebida. Uh, vamos a la cama. Vamos a jugar, vamos a sentarnos. 
All right. So these expressions are the ones that you are going to use. Um, pueden utilizar cualquiera de todas estas en la conversación que vamos a hacer al final. Al final vamos a hacer una conversación eh, donde no la tienen que escribir, sino que solamente es que utilicen las expresiones y una conversación similar a como la que acabamos de practicar. Okay. Then we have, I'm getting hungry. Eh, en este caso, como estábamos, estaba diciendo que tenía, que quería ir, que iba a comer, entonces dice, I'm getting hungry. Okay. It means, eh, me está dando hambre. O tengo hambre. O sea, ya, ya me está rugiendo el, la tripa. That's what it actually means. I'm getting hungry. So the same we can say with the rest of the, this expression. I'm getting thirsty. Estoy sediento, me está dando sed. I'm getting sleepy, me estoy durmiendo. I'm getting bored, me estoy aburriendo. And I'm getting tired, me estoy cansando. Me estoy agotando. So cualquiera de esas expresiones, we can change it. And it's going to make sense in, in la conversación. Por ejemplo, eh, what time is it? It's 9.52. Y aquí le puede cambiar. Um, I'm getting thirsty. Me too. ¿Qué expresión sería aquí? En vez de let's go eat, ¿cuál sería? Si yo digo, I'm getting thirsty, ¿qué expresión podríamos utilizar acá? En vez de let's go eat. Let's get a drink. Let's get a drink. Exactly, that's correct. Si yo digo aquí, um, I'm, getting, I'm getting bored. Me too. Let's. Let's go to sleep. Or play. Let's go, let's go to sleep or let's go play. Yeah. That's correct. Very good. And then we have this question. Do you know of a good place to eat? ¿Conocen algún lugar de, de comer? O sea, una, donde hay buena comida. And then you can say yes, and then say the name that. of the of the, of yes. the place. Yes. McDonald's. <laughs> so <It's> the, like <laughs> la calaca. <laughs> yes, the best. Yes, <laughs> chilachos, please. Those are good. So this is the, the way. teacher. Yes, we didn't receive nothing from la calaca. <laughs> okay, we are expecting for the for those coupons. Yeah. Those discounts. <laughs> Seguimos esperando aquí. El próximo módulo, tal vez. Down, down. <laughs> A los que pasen con 10. <laughs> oh my God. Good. All right. So this is the question we make. Uh, do you know of a good place to eat? And then you say yes and say the name of the, of the, of the place to eat. If it's something to eat, then you can change for any other things. Do you know of a good place to buy clothes? Do you, do you know any good place to buy shoes? Uh, do you know a good store? Do you know a good retail store? Do you know uh, whatever? So if I ask you, do you know of a good place to eat? What would you answer? Si les pregunto, do you know of a, place, a good place to eat? What would you answer? Yes, yes, I know a good place to eat. Okay, but you say the name of the place. Like uh, Pollo Campero. <laughs> hey, be careful, Oscar. Be careful. Tenga cuidado con la respuesta que di ahí. Porque... <laughs> Keep Team Calaca oh, oh. 100%. <laughs> I don't know this place. <laughs> so, yes, but that's the idea. So, you give a name of a place. And then uh, you can also add for any other thing. Okay. ¿Tienen alguna pregunta con respecto a esta, esta frase, estas preguntas? Oh, ¿se entiende cómo se utiliza y cómo se responde? Sí. Okay, cool. Then we have um, at McDonald's, do they have Mexican food, hamburgers, seafood, Chinese food, sandwiches, milkshakes? Eh, una vez preguntamos, do you know a good place to eat? Yes, La Calaca. And then you ask, at La Calaca, do they have uh, hamburgers? And then you can answer, no, they don't, or yes, 
they do. By the way, do you have? At Laka Laka, do you have hamburgers? No. 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 Okay. No, we don't. All right. So that's how you made a question as well. Because as you see here in the conversation, it says, do you know of a good place to eat? Yes, the good burger is just down the street. Y aquí pregunta, do they have Mexican food? And he said, yes, I think they do. Oh, yes, they do. All right. So the same questions there. Uh, you can ask, um, let's say, um, uh, at Pane Helchoi, do they have uh, seafood? Then you will say, no, they don't. Oh, yes, they do. All right. And now is our time. So we're gonna make a conversation here <clears throat> similar to the one we practiced, but with our own information. So you're gonna say, hey, what time is it? Um, it's, uh, it's noon, for example. I'm getting, I'm getting thirsty. Me too. Let's go get a drink. And then you continue. Do you do you know any any good place to to get a drink? Um, yes, um, La Chapulte, for example. Uh, do they have <laughs> Do they have uh, uh, Mexican food? Is that, yes, I think they do. Okay, let's go. Or do they have uh, uh, no alcohol beverages? No bebidas alcohólicas? You say, yes, I think they do. Okay, let's go. All right. So let's make a test here for a conversation. Vamos a hacer una prueba aquí y luego los vamos a unir en grupos para que yo hagan the conversation. Eh, no necesito que escriban la conversación. I just need you to say it. Okay. Ahorita piensen in English and talk as, as you were speaking Spanish. Como que estuvieran hablando español. So, I need two volunteers. Me está escribiendo aquí Jorge aparte que el volunteer ahorita le va a dar un cupón de, de la calaca de 10 pesos. Así que, any volunteer. <laughs> Nobody, nadie, nadie quiere el cupón. Okay. <laughs> All right, so let me choose them there. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's make uh, Jorge and Oscar. Hey, Jorge, what time is it? Uh, it's it's eleven p.m. Eleven o'clock. Okay, let's see. Um, wait, 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 Oscar. Continue, Jorge. After the time you have to uh, say, I'm getting. Oh, okay. Entonces voy a cambiar la hora. <laughs> it's... <laughs> no, I can say it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't go to sleep, please. Don't go to sleep. No. No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sí, porque no te puedo decir vámonos a dormir, ¿verdad? Oh, no. <laughs> um, it, it's um, 3 o'clock p.m. Okay. I'm getting I'm getting it, I'm getting hungry. Okay. okay. Me too. Let's go. Let's go eat. Do you know uh do you know a place to um take a coffee? Uh, yes uh, Starbucks nice let's go it <laughs> it means one question. <laughs> um, do they do they have um, 
croissant. Do they have a dessert? Desserts? 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 Yes, they do. Okay, let's go. Very good. Excellent. Whoa. Great. Okay, so that's what you're going to do, everybody. Uh, that's the, the, the conversation you're going to make. So let me make the group here. Um, you know what? Let's make just one here. And then I'm going to do another activity so we can have the time. Uh, Kenny and, and Alexander. What time is it? Kenny? It's ten o'clock. Ten o'clock? Yes. Okay. I'm getting thirsty. Mm -hmm. I am getting thirsty. I'm getting thirsty. I'm getting I'm getting thirsty. Uh -huh. Alexander. Me too. Let's go. Let's go. Thirsty, No. No. Okay. Uh -huh. Let's go get a drink. Let's go get a drink. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do, do you do you have plates? Do you know? Uh, do you know? A good place. Uh, do you know a good place to, to drink? <laughs> smoothie? Okay, to drink a smoothie. Do you know a good place uh -huh. to drink? Uh, to drink a smoothie. Uh -huh. Good. Yes, I know. Yes, I know um, um, Metro Center. Okay. They, do they? Do they? Do they? Uh, they uh, do they? <laughs> do they have? Uh, do they have uh, a good place? Uh, you can say, for example, do they have, uh, I don't know, like cappuccinos? Or do they have uh, croissants? Like uh, yes, I... Para decir, hay de todo. Uh, yes, there's plenty things. Or there are many things. Yes, there are many things. Okay, let's go. Very good. Excellent. Thanks. Great. So, very good. So, that's uh, how you make the... the the conversation, uh, that's how you use the, the time. Uh, and that's also how you use those other expressions so you can make a conversation. So right now that we are uh, finishing the course, so you are able to make a conversation uh, with your partners. If you find someone on the, in the street or whatever place that speak English, um, you can have a, a conversation. You can introduce yourself. Um, you can say the time. You can say your age, you can say the numbers, you know the colors, um, you know how to talk in things in present, the present continuous, so I'm going to decide the verb So you did it, you did a great job. And the last thing we're going to do is we're going to make a dictation. It's gonna be an easy dictation thing, uh, just about the time. So get your notebook or in your computer or whatever you're gonna type, that's fine. So let me know just when you're ready. Okay. All right. So the first thing is what I need you to do. I'm going to say the time. 
y lo que quiero es que ustedes pongan o eh, escriban la hora en números. Ok. So, the first one is, it's half past four. It's half past four. The second one, it's 7.35. It's 7.35. It's quarter past nine. It's quarter past nine. It's four. It's quarter past nine. Then it's four forty-five. It's four. Uh, just take notes. Then we're gonna say it later. Uh, it's quarter past eight. It's quarter past eight. Cuarto las. Yes, take notes. Estamos haciendo un dictado ahorita. Uh, no, no descopia. <laughs> it's quarter to eleven. It's quarter to eleven. Then it's quarter to nine. It's quarter to nine. Then it's 10.55. It's 10.55. It's six o'clock. It's six o'clock and it's 25 to seven. It's 25 to seven. All right, so what was number one? Eh, Díganmelos en números. So, what was number one? I don't know. <laughs> Somebody get it? I'll say it again. It's half past four. Cuatro y treinta. Exactly. It's four thirty. Yes. Number two. Siete y treinta y cinco. Yes. Number three. 9.25. No. No. 9.15. Yes. A quarter past nine. Next. Number four. 4.45. Yes. Next. 8.15. Yep. Next one. 10.45. Yep. Next. <laughs> 8.45. Yes, very good. Next. 10.55. Yep, number eight. I'm sorry, number nine. Six. Mm -hmm. And the last one? <laughs> <laughs> the last one? It's 25 to 7. Say 35. Yeah, that's correct. Very good. Great. So you know how to say the time. You know how to, uh, if you listen the time, you know what time is it. So that's good. That's great. Super good. And well, we just about one minute to finish. So I don't know if you have any questions so far in regards to time, how to say the time, or any questions at the moment. No questions? Nope. No. no. Okay. All right. So this is this was our last class. Uh, so I just want to say thank you very much for being here. Uh, for being on this course. Uh, this is your first milestone um, of the things that you're going to get. Believe me, this is something that um, it's hard to do. It's complicated. It takes time. It's tiring. It's bien cansado. It's at night. 
So I really appreciate the time you take. De verdad se aprecia el tiempo que ustedes se toman to, to grow. I mean, porque no cualquiera toma la decisión de tomar parte de su tiempo de descanso para study. So whatever thing you're doing right now is going to get very good results in the future. So really glad to be here. Muy contento de haberlos conocido. Really glad to nice to meet you. Uh, classes will start until next year. So I really hope that you have a, a, enjoy a happy Christmas. Merry Christmas to everybody. And also a happy new year. Uh, disfruten con su familia, con sus amigos. Y hopefully we're going to see next year. All right. So thank, thank you very much. Thanks. And have a good night. Thanks, coach. You're welcome. Take care. Have a good night. Bye. Bye-bye. Good night. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.